hello this is cindy from cinder's paper craft um sorry i haven't done a tutorial this week but as you know last time i done a tutorial i have been having problems with my hands and um the problem seemed to escalate and i was rather poorly so i was feeling rather sorry for myself but now i'm able to craft again and um I'm going to do as many tutorials as I can today because obviously I've had all these wonderful ideas in my head um, that I couldn't act on. So here's the first one. This is my chest of drawers. I'm going to do them in a stack of four. Um, they're as sweet as button. So I move in and out just perfectly, each one of them. And I've managed to do all this without sixteenths so that's so I, you could just literally do one as a gift box or two or three or four the reason I'm actually going to do mine is I am going to do another one obviously because that will make it stack four and then I'm going to do another four and stick them to it and then another four so I've got a proper bank of storage um, and you'll probably ask me what gifts can go in here. You'd be amazed. This, these, with just these three here. No, this isn't a gift. This is more storage. Right. I have all my stamps here. Well, that blocks. I've got three of the big ones, but they don't fit in there. So I have multiples of all of them except for so I've, if you can see so three of those three of the little ones one of them two of them and two of them one 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 every single one of those fits in those storage boxes but i couldn't get it to take that one so that apart from the big one is held in that storage and as you can see there are multiples so i was pretty impressed with that um you can put in things like this um, some these are essential oils which I'm going to be gifting um, you'd be able to put in lots you can put in some some nice tea lights in different um, flavors I want to say are they flavors now different smells <sighs> doesn't matter the ones that smell different you can break them up and put them into um from for different um gifts words are hard today so you're going to have to bear with me right so shall we crack on yes let's crack on so obviously i have used dapper denim well this isn't obvious i have used dapper denim and I have used the Eastern Palace um, paper. Oh, it's going to be a long video. Sorry, guys. Right. So, there is one issue I have with this. I have used full A4 sheets. Now, well, one of them isn't going to be an A4 sheet. It's not a full one anyway. But our A4 is different to the American A4. So I've gone with the UK European one, which you're, the Americans and the Canadian, you'll be able to do your own measurement. Your measurement, you'll see how easy it is. You'll be able to do your own measurements. Um, your, your one will be slightly not as long and a little bit wider, but you'll see why it's not a problem that you'll be able to convert it easily. So this is for paper, which is 11 and three quarters by eight and one quarter, because I believe the American ones are 11 by eight and a half. So this is the UK one, but when, like I say, when you see how easy it is, you'll easily be able to adapt this. Right, so one of these, we are going to trim down to seven and a half inches. 
and we are trimming this bit down, the shorter bit down. So I'm going to go to seven and a half inches and then trim that down. So that can now be the cover. Right, so this is why you will realise that it isn't a problem for you to understand and I have been very remiss and I will put right I'm going to hold these up because very quickly right so there are the measurements I am going to put them down but at the moment they won't show and then that is the outer covers which again, I'm going to put down there. And then the DSP is that one, and that's probably not going to fit in. So, there you go. <laughs> right, so I'm going to use my wax paper. And this doesn't get any easier. We are going to score at one inch. And two and one eighth. So one inch and two and one eighth. See, this is why it won't make any difference, no matter what size it is, because you're you're sizing the box from the outside measurement. If you see what I mean. So that is done. This is a reinforced box because we do not want this to give up, rip or tear. Now this one, there is my beautiful sheet, oh, that's a bit of a, right, so we are going to score it on this side and we are, oh. let me move that out of the way. So we are going to score this at one quarter of an inch and that is really important. <laughs> That's what makes it all fit together perfectly. So quarter of an inch, four and three eighths, five and a half, nine and five eighths and ten and three quarters. Okay, and that's it. I can get rid of my scoreboard. Right, so this quarter of an inch we will end up cutting off. Ooh, this seems over a long way today. That does seem, unless it's just messing around a bit. I will put this up there for a moment. Right. There. Right, so this quarter of an inch will be taken off, but we are going to just use that. Right. And we are going to burnish those. So I think they've been up there long enough because that will then start to get in my way. Right, so here we go. Let's give this a, a proper a proper burnish. See, words are really hard today. Right. So that is the quarter of an inch right there and we are basically going to stick that like so, okay? So we are going to need to put glue or tape 
on that end one so quarter of an inch this one because we're going to tuck it under and um, tuck it under and stick it to itself so here we go now I would I really really would recommend using liquid glue or tape here because if you're going to be using this a lot you want this to hold up right so there we are now using that bit as a guide that quarter of an inch you are going to stick it right to that line now the reason you're probably thinking well why why do i need that we're going to cut it off in a minute but that then makes it possible for that to have the perfect fit i don't know why it works but it does and i haven't given you any one sixteenth at all so there you go I learnt nothing else this weekend so now we are just going to trim that if you want to try doing that without the um the quarter of an inch it may well work but the way I see it I don't want to mess around with something that I find works so there we are that's the cover let's move these out of the way a bit further and let's keep this tidy right so I'm a mucky pup I tell you got ink on me from doing galaxy um, backgrounds with distress ink not a good idea right so you have here each one of the corners has these four squares you've probably seen this done a hundred times but I might do this slightly different to others it, but I I it will be stronger this way but if you want to do it your way you do it your way there is no right and wrong way so you are going to cut down both of them but you are going to make sure you cut this side so the left one of the little stack of cubes so you've got those so you also are going to need to notch in so you might as well do that in one fell swoop like so you are going to take that bit out and you are now just going to give that a bit of a a bit of a notch like so and we are going to do that one as well so you're going to do that on all four sides again I will go to there so this is a reinforced box if I can I do like to do that but sometimes it just does depend on the measurements you want the box to be without using multiple bits of paper right I've seen at the moment I must order some the fuses buy one get two free that's amazing and there is and I think that's a time limited offer like I say, this last week or so, I haven't really been with it, to be honest. And there is DSP, which is buy three, get one free. That doesn't include all the papers, but it does include some gorgeous ones. Right, so there is 
our box. So now I am going to stick these on and let me burnish them first. Now I do this properly. Yeah, so they've got some really good deals on. It's worth taking a look. If you don't have a demonstrator and you would like to buy some, you can take a look in my Stampin' Up shop. It's a 24-hour and very secure. If you don't like placing um, orders over the internet, then you can always give me a call. Right, so... Now these are going to be stuck to that, so we are going to put glue on these four tabs. Well we're not going to put glue on, I'm going to put tape on. I don't think you really want to be waiting for me to, uh, for my glue to dry. Mind you, my one is a quick drying glue. Tombow would be absolutely fine for this. You won't be in the same rush that I am. Well, it's not a rush. I just, I can't spend as long as I usually like to when I'm doing a tutorial because I love to sit and take my time. It keeps me sane. <laughs> Right, so we are now going to turn that over and because we want to stick that bit down, we are going to put tape along that top edge right there. On all four sides. There we are. Now, we are going to take all these little pieces off. Now, we are going to bend those in and we are going to get that as square as possible, okay? So that needs to be nice and square. Now, I have a couple of bits of adhesive sticking out, which, trust me, won't be there by the time I finish because I will have to move them. So do them nice and square because this obviously will... If it's not square, it won't move properly in the sleeve. So again, nice and square. Right, so now we are going to put the handle in. So we are. I'm going to put a hole in here. I'm not going to fold that over, I'm going to put a hole in there. So if you want to measure it, which I know a lot of people do. This is four inches, so I will do it at two inches, roughly in the middle. So right about there. there. So <laughs> remove your finger and give that a wiggle. Okay. You'll probably need to give it a bigger wiggle than that. And we will need to stick this on now because we are going to need to give that a wiggle. So I will just quickly glue that on rather than get the tape on. Famous last words. This will be quicker. <laughs> 
Ah, right. So we are going to close that in. And we are going to pop that DSP on in a with a nice even border, she says. <laughs> right now, from behind, you will be able to see the hole. Without having your finger in the front, you are going to pop that through. And then you're going to give that a really, 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 really good wiggle. Okay. Give it some oomph. Now, my handles, I got these off of a oh, shop ages ago. Um, but you can buy these on... Amazon Tim Holtz does to some. This one is Tonic Studios. Um, so, and I'm sure we'll be able to get it um, if you use a lot of them on AliExpress. But I got mine a long time ago. But like I say, Tim Holtz does some on Amazon. Right now, because they are too long and they will stick out. I need to get some of the metal clippers and just give those a darn good squeeze. Which is not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> of course it is. Right, so we are now going to pop them back together and put them through that hole that we've just made. Right, there. And now we are just going, to, you can use a um, ribbon here as a, a pull, or you can use a brad as a pull. You certainly don't have to use these. On previous ones that I have done, I have used, you see that is going to stick out, let me trim that one a bit more, I have used ribbon as a, as a, a bit of a pull, and they, that looks just as lovely. You would do this exactly the same. Right, let's take a bit more off. There. So you would do exactly the same because what we do then is we will stick the um, stick the prongs or the tie bit behind that flap okay so you can't catch yourself and it will hold it and make it a lot stronger and we like things to be that we make to be nice and strong and not fall apart so just stick a bit it doesn't matter if it's neat, doesn't matter where it is, it just needs to be there. So now we will take off that bit and just fold that over and then you can't see it. And I shouldn't have put that adhesive right to the bot bottom because you can see I'm going to have to use me um, me embossing buddy to take the sticky off but that's that is not the end of the world right so now we are going to make sure all of these are nice and stuck down because that will 
um, affect the mechanism if it isn't done well. Moment of truth. Is it going to be the only one that doesn't work properly? <laughs> and this does calm down once it's been in and out. Right. So now we're on to the home straight. I can now bring in the decorator piece. Because obviously... I'm not just going to, well you could, you absolutely could just stick them together and leave it. That would be absolutely fine. But I am just going to make sure, thank goodness, that they are all the right way up. Mind you, it doesn't matter because I could change them and spin them around that. Right, so I am going to do this with glue and I am going to make sure that's coming out because we are going to need wiggle room, trust me. Right, so what I need you to do is to pull all of these out slightly. No. I need you to pull them out the other way because what we want to do is there may be differences in the sizes but we don't want that to show at the front one of these might be slightly bigger and I don't want there to be one overhanging another if you see what I mean so what we're going to do is we're going to glue these and then glue them together you see that one there it's slight, can you see, slightly fractional? But because it will be at the back, it won't matter. Right, so, oodles of glue. And it doesn't matter if it squishes out. Do you know, this really goes against everything to put that much glue on something. Right, so, push them down, make sure they are even, both sides, okay, which they are, and I am just briefly going to turn that round that way, so I have something that I can rub against, because that will be the layer underneath. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this one. Give them both a, give them both a bit of a rub. And then put them back so I know which way is which. And we are, actually no I'm not, because I'm going to need to stick. Yes, I am. No. Indecision. Right, so... We are now going to do this one. If you can, you need to get the glue as close to the edge as possible. It's all going to be covered up, but the glue I use actually oops, dries clear and it's matte. Right, so push them down like you did the others and make sure they all line up. You can flip them around that way and that way. There. And I can't really push against, actually I can. But that should do it itself anyway. Right, last one. So we are now going to do the last one. You can use hot glue if you prefer. That will work just as well. And I do use hot glue, but you can only imagine the chaos 
Actually, I will be using hot glue on one of my projects today. The chances are, at some time today, you'll hear me screaming. You know, see, that's what I wanted to be very careful on, that one did not hang out more than t'others. So take your time, make sure that is equal. I don't mind if that one's slightly out, but I really do mind if the, the top is. Right. So I can actually go along and just put, I'd rather it bleed out be honest and then I know it's stuck and I'm just going to put a bit along there I mean this is all going to be covered up I don't know why I'm being so I know but I just like to make sure that that is as well stuck as it can be which is why Maybe a hot glue gun might have been better. Ooh. Right, so. Now. We have got to do this in certain order. This is where we see if this does actually fit, which it does. Right, so we are going to do the back. Let me just stick that on. Okay, so the DSP is the size that I put in there. And I'm just going to stick that on. There. So we're going to put the back piece on. And then we are going to put the two side pieces on and then we are going to put the top on so I don't need that box there at the moment do I so we're just going to attach that to there I mean obviously the um the drawers you can have as many as you like or just do one as a gift box and just change the handle for a a nice piece of ribbon right so now the back we will not be putting any glue on that only these flaps okay because if we stick that that will stop them from opening so we are going to take one piece off and that will be the underside is it the underside no it's the top side it doesn't matter so we will lay that down there making sure that is straight as we can be let me pull that back right so You'll be able to feel with your fingers, be brave and stick that down and that there is an overhang there which I will trim down and I will trim that down right now. I should have, should have maybe looked at that first but there you go. It's the back so I'm I'm not going to stress about that too much I obviously want it to be right oh, can't sweat the little things right now that looks blooming awful but it's the back Now, it's going to be slightly lopsided, but what I do is go and put another piece so it's right the way over. 
so we are now going to peel off this bit and making sure that that is square that then is the back I will make sure I come in and just put a new bit of DSP which will go the whole way round now we are going to put the top bits on so the best way I think to do that is to do this bit first is it so let's tuck that under like pretend we've stuck it and I need that to go right to the back but not too far that it makes it short at the front right. and we will then take that bit off I mean this not only is to neaten it up but it also is to give it reinforcement and as much reinforcement as you can put in the longer it will last I made some of these years ago I used some A3 paper Ooh, that one clever I used some A3 paper and made really gorgeous big chests um, and they still to this day are working which is quite amazing really right there there we are I will also pop one on the bottom which I'm not going to do right now because that really isn't important and obviously they can come out either way and go back in either way yes so I am just going to now pop that one on top I'm going to glue this because I want that to hold all those pieces in and hide all that all those tabs and like I say I will also put one of these on the bottom to give it strength now the choice is yours if you do that or not no one's going to tell you off if you don't right now I will say if you are using a pattern like I did make sure <laughs> make sure that you actually what I should have done is used to stuck these bits down as well um, do that to yours so there I'm just changing them so it looks like I've done it on purpose ha <laughs> ha So you see there, I've done them slightly different. Right, so I wonder if I can just, yeah, let's just get some in there. But definitely do glue that down. Like I say, I haven't made these for such a, a long time. But they really do last what they might also be really good for which is the one I made my um, other one is for um, labeling them up for the embellishments you know when you cut some out and, and you're left with some I use them I used it for storage that way right so there make sure you do yours at the right time and 
not stupidly like me. So I will go on and put a bottom on there because I don't like it to be that wobbly. But there we are. What do you think? Is it super snazzy? I will I'll sort that out. I think that's lovely. And I'm going to do some more of those and build myself a, a nice um, row of chest of drawers. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry if that was rather painful. Um, but I hope you'll give it a go. You can use any of the card or designer series paper that you want. And by the time you see the picture of this, that will be strong because it'll have a bottom on. Right, actually. Just for now, because it's doing my head in. There. There we are. I hope you like it. And now I am off to download this. And then we are going to do another project. But I think I think that's rather cute. And I do hope you'll give it a go. I really do hope you'll give it a go. So, there we are. Right. I will speak to you soon. Thank you for sharing part of your day with me. See you soon. Bye-bye.